Sometimes patients can wake up with a crick in their neck. So they'll be sleeping in an awkward position, they'll get up and they'll feel like they just can't tip their head to one side. When this happens, we have spe specific types of techniques that we do to help clear this, and we can clear it very quickly. So for example, in his case, he woke up, the left side of his neck hurt. When he went to tip his head, it just wouldn't go. Whereas on the other side, his head tips just fine. He might feel some tightness over here. The pain might be local, or sometimes it can shoot down into the shoulder blade. So I'm gonna show you exactly how we clear it here in the clinic, and then an exercise you might be able to try at home to help you clear it as well. So what tends to happen is one of the vertebrae sometimes is not moving the way it's supposed to and becomes what we call like hypomobile or it stiffens up. So the way that we treat it is we will actually go in, we'll find the segment and we'll perform something called a side glide where we'll shift his neck off to the side just like that and we'll actually create a little bit of that side bending for him. And we can take him a little bit further and do it a little bit more. This is a technique that a practitioner, if they know what they're doing, will use to help treat this type of condition and then he will be able to side bend his head much more without pain. The exercise that you can try to do at home if you're struggling with this, um, as this is not recommended for you, we'll be demonstrating next. So the way to help self-correct this type of problem is you'll take two fingers, you'll put them right around where it hurts, so where the pain is located, and then you're going to press in. While you're pressing in, you're going to tip your head towards that side. It's gonna feel a little uncomfortable. You just kind of poke into it and it should start to loosen up. If it's not loosening up, make sure you call your provider or a physical therapist locally in your area. Um, when we start doing consultations, you can also reach out to us as well. But the way that this works, you'll apply those fingers, you'll tip into that motion, just do a few sets of five repetitions. It should start to loosen up and then you shouldn't need to do it anymore once you get your range of motion back. <laughs> 